2022 midterm election right around the corner and Missouri, it'll be a little different, including what you need to bring to the polls. That's because a new bill went into effect this week. I read through it and I sat down with the Missouri Secretary of State to find out how it will impact the way you vote. At its foundation, House Bill uh, 1878 is a look at how do we make elections have accessibility, have security, and have credibility. The bill took effect August 28th, making Missouri one of several states passing new voting laws in the wake of the 2020 election. We want people to be able to say, you know, it was won or it was lost, it's done. We need that credibility. Has there been an election in Missouri where people have cheated? Well, the, I, I think it's probably fair to say in virtually every election in Missouri, people have cheated. Ask him how many people he's prosecuted for that, and the answer would be zero, because we have not found any fraud in the state of Missouri. Before my interview with Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft, I looked through the bill myself, because I wanted to see what stood out to me in terms of the things that would most affect how you vote. First, a state-issued voter ID is required. If you don't have that photo ID, you still can vote as long as you're registered. You will have to show another accepted form of ID though, and your ballot will be a provisional one. Another change, no drop boxes. We've never really used drop boxes in Missouri. Electronic vote counting machines are now prohibited too, paper ballots only. It also allows the appointment of election judges who reside outside of the election yes. jurisdiction. Why? There were real concerns about whether or not we would have enough people that were willing to be uh, poll workers. Normally, election workers have to be evenly distributed between the two major parties, yes. Republicans and Democrats. With an appointment process, is that still going to be the case? The intention is that it should be. Right now, there are two lawsuits to block portions of this bill from being enforced. One specifically around a provision requiring anyone who registers more than 10 voters to apply. Although the law words are okay, the clarity is not there as to do we have to wait for his permission or do you just file a form and say, I want to register more than 10 people. Under this law, you now have the authority to do a quarterly audit of the voter rolls. Um, I, I can audit voter rolls, yes. I can look to see if that election authority is updating and cleaning their voter rolls the way they should. No one is added to voter rolls and no one is removed from voter rolls in this state by the Secretary of State. That will continue. He didn't tell the truth if that's what he's saying. He actually has the unilateral decision, the way that we have interpreted that, to remove people from the polls. Speaking of the polls, no excuse absentee voting in person is now open for the two weeks before the election. That's something both parties are pleased with. There have been dozens of lawsuits. There was not widespread voter fraud in the 2020 election. So do you understand the concern some people have that this is being introduced as a response to an election? that was credible, that was legal, and that was valid? Well, I mean, this is being introduced for the, the three reasons I mentioned. As voters across the state prepare for the upcoming election, Washington offered this plea. One, educate yourself, especially if you're an organization that does register folks. Two, beg for volunteers. Everybody, volunteer, volunteer, volunteer to register people to vote. You can check out the full text of the bill and read all of the changes in this new law at KSHB.com.